Welcome to a state full of fairy tale forests, pristine waterfalls, striking volcanoes, dramatic coastline, beautiful lakes, a gorgeous archipelago, epic outdoor sports, and exciting wildlife. Welcome to Washington. We're Jenna and Jeremy. In August 2020, we bought an RV. In September 2020, we sold everything and hit the road full time. Follow our adventures as we explore more of our incredible planet Earth. Don't forget to press that subscribe button and turn on post notifications for weekly travel videos. You can find us on Instagram at Quench Your Adventure. Now on to the good stuff. A quick tip for your travels in Washington. With three national parks, 12 other sites managed by the Park Service, and 124 state parks in Washington, you should consider the annual National Park Pass for $80 and Washington's annual Discover Pass for $35. That'd be $115 total for a year of access to loads of incredible places. Now, if you're only visiting a couple places, you might save a bit by just purchasing single-use passes. Okay, so I've ordered these places partially by their location, and although they're not in specific priority order, I have saved my favorite for last. That said, we'll start with number nine, Hurricane Ridge. This was October 5th, 2021, and it was cold. We actually had some borderline snow falling while we were up there. Really impressive views from some easy hikes right along the ridge to Sunrise Viewpoint, about a mile round trip. On to number eight, the Ho Rainforest. The Ho earns its name from the Ho River that runs from Mount Olympus to the Pacific Coast. The Ho Rainforest averages 140 inches of rain annually. That's like a foot of rain per month. And the result is this lush green canopy. The mosses and ferns that blanket the surfaces add another element to the enchantment of this rainforest. We hiked both the Spruce Nature Trail, which is about one and a half miles, and the Hall of Moss Trail, which is just over a mile. Up next, number seven, La Push and Rialto Beach. I had some awesome flights in Washington, but this one has to be the most unique with giant tree-topped boulders, dramatic coastline, the rock jetties, the Pacific Ocean, and the river running into it. Rialto Beach is known for the 3.3 mile hole in the wall hike, which must be done at low tide. What an interesting place to explore. Different rocks, shells, clams, crabs, anemones, bright colors, crashing waves, starfish, and of course the hole in the wall. Heading way across the state to our number six, Larrabee State Park. Located on Chuckanut Mountain, it's known for postcard views of Samish Bay and the San Juan Islands. There is plenty to do here from diving to shellfish harvesting, exploring tide pools, hiking, biking, even rock climbing. Really an interesting place to explore. Heading down to number five, Anacortes and the San Juan Islands. The San Juans are known for their iconic Pacific Northwest landscapes and wildlife. San Juan County has more marine shoreline than any other county in the country with 408 miles. The islands are famous for their resident pods of orcas, which we got to see on a whale watching tour out of Anacortes. We also saw cormorants, harbor seals, bald eagles, and of course, plenty of stunning landscapes. Heading east to our number four, Nooksack Falls. Something about this place, so fresh feeling, so lush and green, truly a joy to be here and an incredible drone flight. Up to number three, Mount Baker. You can check out the visitor center, maybe see a few pika and head up to Artist Point for some hiking. The ski area is home to the world's greatest recorded snowfall in one season, 1,141 inches of snow. That's 95 feet or 29 meters. This would be such a cool place to visit in the winter. 
All right, on to number two, Diablo Lake. This gorgeous turquoise lake is the result of a nearly 400 foot dam built almost 100 years ago. Diablo Lake is a great area to canoe, kayak, hike, and it was really cool driving our RV over this bridge. What a beautiful spot. Saving the best for last, we have our number one, Mount Rainier National Park. Standing at 14,410 feet, Mount Rainier is the most glaciated peak in the lower 48 states of America. Mount Rainier is America's fifth national park, and of course it's very well known and can get pretty crowded, but it is worth the hype. It is a beautiful park, very diverse. There's a lot to see here. And it's a big park with many different areas, so it's not hard to find your own spot on the trail. We were in the RV in Washington for about two months, and we actually visited Mount Rainier three separate times. So if you haven't already, put this on your list and check out our full video about the park to help you plan your trip. There you have it, folks, our top nine places in the state of Washington. What an incredible state. Thank you for watching. Please like the video, subscribe to the channel, and stay tuned for more weekly travel videos.